A bone culture is usually done to find out which bacteria is causing the infection. But firstly, broad spectrum antibiotics are usually administered to the patient intravenously because the bone culture can take several days. And after the administration of the broad spectrum antibiotics, we can find out the specific bacteria causing the infection and therefore give more specific antibiotics. Also in chronic cases where there is this necrotic sequestrae, surgery needs to be done to remove it, debride and remove any further infected bone. In cases where there is no remission of the infection or if the treatment was neglected for a very long time, amputation may also be done as well. Just to end the video, we're going to talk about some risk factors associated with osteomyelitis. So these include patients who are young, especially children, because there is increased blood supply to the growing bones. So if there's an infection in the blood or bacteria present, they can reach the bone in this manner. In older patients, the cause of osteomyelitis is likely due to some kind of immunosuppression. So this means there is a reduced response by the body to fight off an infection. And this can happen in certain diseases like diabetes, or if they're taking drugs which reduce the immune response, like corticosteroids, or if the patient has another type of disease like tuberculosis.